everyone and peace of Christ all of you please invite your friends and uh, you know uh, the video we have yesterday life it's back on on air you know uh, uh, YouTube uh, they found that there's nothing wrong with the copyright so we have it back I just made a cut because I thought I need to cut it but anyway it's back uh, so you can download it and you can do it in your uh, channel uh, today our topic is uh, you know like you know when I I decide to go I didn't know really what the topic you know so uh, I, I, I type the word Islam in YouTube well, whatever come in my face it come to my face and then I found uh, uh, like a, a picture or an icon of a video uh, of uh, the guy his name is Mufti Mink and he is supposedly a very famous uh, Muslim Sheikh uh, and in this picture I found something unique in it actually it's kind of an inspiring you know it says the leaking pocket the leaking pocket of teaming you know I mean how truthful this name is Islam is the biggest leaking pocket ever you know I'm not going to play for you the video of Yasser Qadi saying there's holes in the narrative you remember the video, right? When, when Yasser Qadi, he was speaking to a bunch of Muslim kids who they claim that they have knowledge of the religion. And when he said that there is leak in the narrative, there's holes. And then they get so upset from him for saying such a statement. You know, how do you say that? You know, a day before he was a hero, he was their sheikh, he was their teacher. The day after, everybody's spitting at the guy. This is how hypocrite they are, because they are just a bunch of kids. And they are not qualified to talk to them. The guy, he just said the truth. Now, today we have many Muslims as usual in the chat. And the Muslims in the chat, they put more holes in Islam. Just watch their answer and you will see what I'm talking about. As an example. We have Mr. Muhammad Ishmael in the chat. I noticed him. I don't know. He was moving before I go live. Because sometimes they go dead when I go live. Uh, if we ask Muhammad Ishmael. Hey, Muhammad Ishmael. How many Muslim women and men he can marry? Who is a Muslim can help us? Just to show you how easy to expose, explore the holes. I mean, the holes in Islam is bigger than, than a volcano. Every hole in this pocket. What is the number of women a Muslim man is allowed to marry. Who is a Muslim can answer me? Any Muhammadan can answer us? Very simple question. How many Muslim women, a man, a Muslim man, he can marry? If they could not answer us, that means the holes, they are searching now Google, you know. They are searching Google. I mean, even this one need, need Google. Any Muslim can tell us? Muhammad Ishmael, he said four. Okay. Be my witness. Muhammad Ishmael, he said four. Where it says you can marry four. Muhammad Ishmael, where it says that you can marry four. Any Muslim can help us? Why it's so hard? Any Muhammadan? Where in Islam it says you marry four women? And if you if you confirm that there are four, so how come Muhammad he have way more? Muhammad was not a Muslim. Any Muslim can help us? 
Let us go and see that there's a guy, his name is Shabir Ali, and Shabir Ali is a genius. You know, he's a genius. Let us see. Yeah, I mean, for, for women, it's just a stupid idea to have this number of women because one woman will drive you crazy. Uh, Abdul Qadir Khan, he says, why Jesus did not help the Christians when the Muslim made them pages? Yeah, he helped us. We kept our faith. You lost your heaven. You will go to hell for stealing our money and forking us. This is what justice of God is. Why God did not help your prophet when the people of thought if they spit on him and they beat him and they kick his ass you will say to me because Allah prophet was tested see the hypocrisy of the Abdul why your God Allah don't help the people in Afghanistan who they are protected by American why your God Allah he don't protect Saudi Arabia so now we have more than 20,000 troops in Saudi Arabia to protect you from al-Houthi from the Shia why Allah don't protect the Kaaba when al qurmuti he came and he destroyed and he took the black stone and he make the poopoo stone? Hypocrite Abdul. Holes. Islam is a religion of holes. Okay, somebody saying, Osama saying, I assume Osama is a Muslim. Quran 4.3. Took you all this time, Osama, to find the verse. Okay, but nowhere in the verse it says that you can marry four. Can you show me where the word you marry four? Who is a Muslim is willing to show me the word for, to marry for? Where it says you marry for, like your limit is for. Does it say that? Oh, your answer, Usama, is false. Nowhere in the Quran, in that verse, it says what you say. It says go and if. First, the word marriage doesn't say marriage. It says go and if. So you go and if, two and the three, or four do you see it that is about having six party in the same time you can have two in the same time you can have three in the same time you can have four and you know the Quran can continue I mean who said that this is the limit so nowhere it says Mary this is number one because Inca how it's mean to if them Nowhere it says you stop with four, because if you read the verse carefully, if we if we it try to make it look like it's about numbers, then the number will be nine. Read carefully. Go and get two, not or. You see here the translation says or. Where in the verse it says the word for, uh, or? Any Muslim can show me the word or in Arabic? Nowhere it says that. In Arabic it says. مثنى وثلاث ورباع و in Arabic everybody knows who knows Arabic and you know you can go to Google the letter Y is just a tool as like an and in English you know and two and the three and four so it doesn't say what you are saying okay so where this is the understanding coming from that we marry four where the Muslim they get the idea of having four? Let us go and see Shabir Ali, who is a Muslim, uh, uh, a big Muslim scholar. You know, he's big. You know, he have a beard, and I assume that the beard will make him a scholar. So they asked Muhammad uh, Shabir Ali from Pakistan, why the Prophet he have too many wives? Why? Okay, the question. Listen carefully to us at QuranSpeaks.com. So actually, the question today is from a viewer asking about um, how is it that the Prophet had more than four wives, but the Quran said you can only have up to four wives, or you can only have four wives? Mm. So the, the simple answer to that is that while it is commonly perceived among Muslims that the Quran um, says that you can marry only up to four, uh, technically the Quran doesn't actually say that. Uh, the, the first in question... Stop. I hate it when things get technically. When we speak about technically, then screws are coming. So the Abduls who say to us, you marry four, you are a bunch of fool. 
I mean, you grow as a Muslim all your life. You watch a Muslim TV. You go to the mosque. You wash your ass, and still there is fly, fleas there. And then you bend over, and Shaitan he fought when he say Allah Akbar. And then they have to cut your penis, and then you have to do jihad, and then you have to kill some Christian and Jews, so you can go to heaven. And then Allah will make you unlimited versions, so they are ready, and their legs is up. Bingo. We, we, this is the target. Legs up. All of this, and you do not even know how many women you can do boom boom to them. So all of you, you gave me the answer by saying four. But Shabir Ali, peace upon him, he says, technically, Quran never say that. Listen carefully, I'm not the one saying. So Shabir, the question today is from a viewer asking about um, how is it that the Prophet had more than four wives? But Yeah, how come, how come the Prophet had more than four wives? I mean, this is a silly question. The Prophet is very horny. I mean, if you are a person who is very horny, you are, you are qualified to be a Prophet. The funny Muhammad, he said, I was the most weak person between all mankind, and then I invoked Allah, and then he sent me a dish of sheikh kebab. I ate it, I get the power of 40 men of people of heaven, which means 4,000 men. The Muhammad, he can go in a competition with a city of in, when it's come to F things, you know? You know the thing? Like, imagine there's Muhammad there, and he have his naked ready for women, and there's 4,000 men in the other side trying to compete with the Prophet. They will never win, brother. It's a Prophet. His penis have the power of Allah. If Allah is the one is giving you this power, who can who can defeat such a penis? May Allah bless his penis. Now we continue. So, how come the Prophet have more than four wives? If the Quran says four, this is the question. Eh. This is from a viewer asking about um, how is it that the Prophet had more than four wives, but the Quran said you can only have up to four wives, or you can only have four wives. Hmm. So the, the simple answer to that is that while it is commonly perceived among Muslims that the Quran um, says that you can marry only up to four, uh, technically the Quran doesn't actually say that. Uh, the, the first in question here is in the fourth chapter of the Quran, the third uh, verse, uh -huh. uh, where it says, uh, marry the women who are suitable t for you in twos and threes and, and fours. And, uh, or like did, you, did you hear he says two and the threes and fours? No, not or. Did you see what he said? And three and two and the threes and fours. Are you with me, Abdul? Uh, we have Muhammad Ishmael. He said something. It did not appear in the chat uh, because of you two. Saying, uh, uh, was Solomon horny? Yeah, he was horny. He wa who, who was saying that he was following God? Who said that? The Bible says a king must not multiply his horses or wives, which means he does not, she should not seek wealth, he should not seek sexual desire and, and, and temptation. This is what the Bible says. So he was breaking the command of God. So you are a fool. But here we have God talking. This is your God, my friend. This is not Solomon making himself a king and he want to have fun, want to drink, and want to belly dancers around him, shiki biki, you know. This is your God. The God here is shiki biki. Chiki, 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 chiki. This is the God. This is not a king. The one speaking in the Quran is the God of the shiki biki, hishik, mishik. Shake it, bake it. And the question is, is going to come after Shabura speak about uh, Muhammadura. Hey Shabura, what the reason you are making such a statement or make you make such a statement? Hmm. So the, the simple answer to that is that while it is... Stop, stop. We have a Muslim, he come with an answer. Hold on. When I say to you, Islam is religion of holes in the pocket, you have to take it for granted. I don't say things I don't mean. Our friend here, his name, Usama, I don't know what the first name, maybe he's Indonesian. I better not to try to read the name, because we might end with hummus. And people will laugh at me, like the guy don't even know, Shina, Shina Yoko, Shinekawa, Usama. Okay, Mr. Shinekawa. May Allah shinakawa you. This is one interpretation by Sheikh, but the general belief Muslims you marry for. 
Did you see, guys, the holes? I mean, is, even this verse, the Muslims cannot agree about how many wives we can have. I mean, do you see how clear the Quran? <laughs> brother, uh, the Quran is so clear. Uh, you know, you know, it's very easy, brother. Uh, you know, yeah, you know, it's and in the Quran says. Isn't it the Quran says that Allah He made the Quran so clear? Huh? If we go right now and we search the yellow pages of Muhammad. Hmm? Look what we will see, brother. Unbelievable. According to your Quran, Allah explained the Quran for you already. Chapter 6, verse number 55. As an example. We explain it, brother. Who explained the Quran? Allah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Allah he explained the Quran and the Muslims they were so good in understanding the Quran because who can explain the Quran better than Allah? This is the chapter six, the chapter of goats, the and anam. It says, Okay, it's Allah who made the stars for you, so can lead you. Okay, hold on, but the stars are not what we see in the eyes is not even one percent or maybe one a billion percent of what is the stars is about i mean the stars most of them we don't see them the one we see by visible eye is very number small number then he says so to guide you in the in the darkness and uh, in the sea brother and then okay and then and this is how we explain in details our ayat brother <laughs> but you abdul Mr. Osama, what's your name? You know what? I'm going to make you an admin when the chat is closed. This is one interpretation. This is what? This is one interpretation. But why the Quran have too many interpretation and none of them fit with the other interpretation? The answer is very simple because this religion, this religion, Muhammad have holes, Quran have holes, Allah have holes. I mean, you need a lot of his stitches to fix the holes. You want to uh, debate me and have a nice conversation? Aren't we having nice conversation here? Don't you see? Uh, come on, you, 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 Muhammad, and you, you live your life for the sake of a hole. You, you go to jihad for the sake of a hole. You kill people for the sake of a hole. You seek Allah, you know, uh, 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 let us say, uh, reward. And the reward is a hole. You put your head in a hole. This is the black stone in the Kaaba. And yesterday we were talking about Mr. Uh, uh, Yusuf. He could not answer anything about the black stone, to be honest with you. I mean, he has tons of holes. So you put your head in a stone, which is a hole in the Kaaba. You kiss it, you lick it, it's a vagina. Then we ask about the Quran. You give us answer full of holes. Then we ask about the Prophet. The Prophet himself is full of holes. Even he used to leak, not only the pocket. And then we ask you about uh, hole in the narrative, you get angry. Your scholars say Islam have no holes in the narrative. And then when you die, you see God, and what you get there? A hole. 72 hole. This is what your religion is about, is religion of holes. All right. Oh, Muhammad, uh, he want to debate me about the black stone. Uh -huh. But uh, Muhammad, don't you see we have uh, the different topic for now? I mean, come on, Muhammad, be reasonable. When we talk to you about the black stone, you hang up and you run. And now you talk about the black stone. Okay, we will talk about black stone, but, you know, let us finish this one. So 
the Quran obviously is not explained and Allah failed when he said and he lied when he said and this is how we explain our ayat because a book he needs tons of explanation and yet the author he claimed he claimed that it is explained already that is a big failure I mean did Allah lie here when he says and this is how we explain our Quran did Allah make a mistake don't Allah knows that this is not true? I mean, even a single verse about marriage, how many women to marry, they don't agree about the number. What say you? Why the Muslims don't agree about the number? Do you have many religions? Right? Uh, Muhammad Qasim, you want to call me about the black stone worship? Well, Mr. Uh, uh, Yusuf yesterday, uh, he did a great job. He said it clearly, it's an act of worship. And actually, I can show you a video of Muslim Sheikh saying that too. And as long as you Muslims, you kiss a stone, which is a hole in a wall, and you claim that this is an act of worship, and this is how you can get close to Allah. Well, obviously, even the way you get close to your God is a through hole in the wall. And yet you claim that the Hindus are pagans. You claim that the Buddhas are pagan. And by the way, yesterday we showed Mr. Yusuf that Adam was a Hindu guy. In the best scenario, he was a Buddhist. Who remember yesterday when we showed you that Allah, he sent Adam to a mountain it's called Buddha or Buddha. You remember? Just yesterday the video is there. Islam is not a religion. Islam is a copy of many multi religions mixed together. Some from the Hindu, some from the Buddha, some from the Christian, some from the Jews, some from the Sabian, some from the hippies. And here Muhammad is being a hippie. So why Muhammad he didn't marry many women? Because he's a hippie. He's not. Muhammad he favored his penis upon all other penises. For there's no one care for the penis of Muhammad as his God. So why the Prophet he marry more women? Shabir Ali tried to fix it. He made it more blind. He says the verse doesn't say that. The verse says two and three and four. That's mean we have a six party of nine women together. This is what Shabir Ali is saying. Listen carefully, it's not me who's saying that. To four wives, or you can only have four wives. Hmm. So the, the simple answer to that. Uh, what I like about Shabir Ali, like when he wanted to answer, like he gets so excited like a rabbit. And, 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 you know, like, you know, suddenly like it's like an extra electricity come his body, like, like the, look, look with me. Notice how he get like, he was in the state of mute calm and then now it is his time to answer so look what happened okay now he's looking at her look look at those eyes very nice calm you know i mean you scared the hell of your daughter man how you look at her it's, 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 you look like you're going to jump to beat her or something take it easy so now shabir ali is receiving the uh, the question and now look how he get right away like his mouth like, you know, like, okay, you know, uh, 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 uh. four wives. Hmm. So uh, the, the simple answer to that is that while it is commonly perceived among Muslims that the Quran um, says that you can marry only up to four, uh, technically the Quran doesn't actually say that. Uh, the, the so why the Quran say, did not say that, but you Muslim, you do the opposite? Holes. This is a religion of holes. Continue, Abdul. First in question here is in the fourth chapter of the Quran, the third verse, uh, where it says, uh, marry the women who are suitable to, for you in twos and threes and, and fours. Two and the threes, threes, not the three, twos and t threes and fours and fours. I love it. You know, I want to, I want to have a, imagine yourself. You go to a coffee shop and you know you decide to date the twos and the threes and fours 
and then you get them all in one table. I mean, why you want to set like you keep moving from a table to a table, all of them, like the nine of them, you know? And then you hold all their hands and you say to them, I like you. Beautiful religion. Twos and threes and fours. And all those nine females looking at you, it's a poor star. I mean, come on, if I am Shabir Ali, I will be really so, so, so a superstar, like and, and going to a coffee shop every day. And there's twos and threes and the fours waiting for me, theirs. And I will hold their hands in public because this is halal, halal, brother, halal. And I say, let us do nikah. Ah, uh, honey, you now? Hey, not now in the coffee shop, you idiot. We just go home. This is the religion. So Allah, he said to Muslims, go and do twos, twos and threes and four. And this is God teaching. Wonderful. And uh, or like two at a time, mm -hmm. three at a time, four at a time. Two, look, look at the details. I love it when he make, and especially when he make his hands like he's, like he's, cut, like he's cutting pizza, you know, two at a time. Like, do it again. Two at a time, three at a time, four at a time. Like what? Is that? Are you explaining to us how you eat pizza? It says, uh, marry the women who are suitable to, for you in twos and threes and, and fours, and uh, or like two at a time, mm -hmm. three at a time, four at a time. Uh, this guy, he work in pizza restaurant. I never noticed that. Do you see how he cut them? Twos and three times and three, three times. Huh? So good. Unbelievable. I don't know how many of you now thinking to convert to Islam because you can do twos at a time, threes at a time, fours at a time. Continue. Uh, but uh, it doesn't say that you can't marry a fifth. It doesn't say that, CP. It doesn't say that you can marry the fifth. Did, did you hear it? It does not say you cannot marry the fifth and the sixth and the seven and the eight and the nine and the ten and the twelve and the f Islam is explained. Doesn't say that. Nowhere it says don't marry five. He's right. Don't marry ten, twenty, eighty, seven thousand. It doesn't say that, CB. And uh, or like two at a time, mm -hmm. three at a time, four at a time. Uh, but uh, it doesn't say that you can't marry a fifth. N not that I'm recommending okay. marrying more, yeah. than, more than four. I think it's reason. Look at this. He is not recommending that, brother. Allah recommending it. <laughs> so are you claiming that you are more decent than your God and your prophet? Are you saying that the one, why you, why you don't recommend five? Why you don't? You don't like your daughter to be one of five wives in the room of a husband, decent husband. He's so decent to the point he want to collect women as collecting cars. It's reasonable that the Muslim scholars have placed that limitation and said that, you know, it doesn't seem like a man could do justice marrying more than four. Now, are these... That's deep. So the Muslim scholars they decided Islam and they decided that a man he cannot be justice with more than four. With four you can be justice. That's so good to be true. Brother, he had the nerve. If they are more than four, you cannot be doing justice with them. But you idiot, isn't it the Quran says that you will never be able to be justice with women? <laughs> In the same chapter. Potato. I mean, what I would do with those potatoes? For how long I will keep dealing with potatoes? Frying time. The Quran says you cannot even be justice even if there are two women. 
even one woman. Is that your Quran? So the member have nothing to do with this you idiot. Why you are making things up? You will never be able to do just, not perfect. The word perfect here is not there. It is false translation. You will never be able to do justice between wives, even if you try your best. But this is destroy the chapter four, verse number three, where it says, if you could not be just, get one. Based on this, Quran confirm that we should not marry them for, yet saying, if you marry for me, you will be unjust. Yet saying, if you cannot be unjust, then marry one. Then that means the Quran is full of holes and make you dizzy. Because can we marry now or we cannot? And by the way, the word marry here does not exist really. It's the if women. And if you are not able, if you fear you shall not be able to deal justly between two brackets with them, then only one. Okay, I will take this one. Let us make a, a, a screenshot of this just to show you how easy to find tons of holes in this stupid cult made by an idiot who keep contradicting himself but if you fear that you shall not be able to deal justly with the women then only one okay so let us make a conclusion about this verse Again, this is a chapter 4. This is a chapter 4, verse number 3. 4, 3. All right. Let, that, let us take a screenshot. Selfie. Because we want to place them next to each other. Now, the same chapter, we are not even changing the chapter. The same chapter, we go just a little farther down. 129. It says, you will never be able to do perfect justice. This is false translation. This is change the translator because there is no perfect. Anyone who speaks Arabic knew that. Let us see uh, the funny Yusuf Ali. By the way, I found that Yusuf Ali, a Quran translation, is banned in Malaysia. Why is that? They found that he's a Hindu? Yusuf Ali says, and you will never be able to be fair and just between women. Okay. Yeah, this translation is okay. Not too much stupid. So, in the same chapter, chapter 4, verse number 29, the God of Islam, the biggest Abdul, saying that you cannot, it's impossible to be fair and just with your wives. That's wonderful. Now it is time to place those two verses side by side. And that will show you that the one who would make the Quran is a certified idiot. This is 4.29 and this is 4.3. All right. We will try to make them show in one screen together.
So what we learned here from 43 and 4129 that the author of the Quran who is creating Allah is a stupid. And I changed the Muslim to say to me, this is not true. I challenge any Muslim to tell me that this is not true. Because in one hand you are saying that you can have twos and threes and then fours, but if you fear that you shall not be able to deal justly with them, then only one. So already he gave them permission to have sex with many, many women and to have many women in the bed. And he put a condition, if you cannot deal justly with them, then only one. And then after a while, he forgot what he said. The same chapter, verse number 129, he says, you are never be able to be fair and just with women. Do you see the stupidity? So like I say, I am the city mayor, and I say to you, you can build two and three and four building uh, floor in this uh, location, and, and then I make another uh, uh, statement in the same page, in the same law, says, and you will never be able to make four floors. What a stupid idiot. Do you see it? Because if the purpose is to give license to have a sexual party with many women, and you are saying you will be you need to be just with them so the condition is if you cannot be just then you cannot do the three and the two and the four but in the first verse chapter 4 verse number 3 it sounds like it's possible to be just right because here is saying and if you are if you fear that you shall not be able look at the stupid language if you fear you see when you say if you fear, that is mean it's possible. Correct? If you fear, but if you fear that you will not be able to deal justly with them, then only one. <laughs> so this statement is a statement of an idiot. Because here you are saying if you fear that you cannot be just, that's mean he can be just. But he is not sure. That's mean a human, it's possible for him to be just with between the wives. This is what is the statement here. And then you confirm another verse saying, You fool not only justice. Okay, show me the word. Guys, he says uh, it says perfect justice. Where it says the word perfect. This is this is why the word perfect it, it disappears when we change the translator, you donkey. You know, Osama, in front of everybody, if you can show me the word perfect, I'm going to shave my 26 foot beard because it was 25 yesterday. You know, I use Islamic fertilizer, brother. You know, and I will shave it live on air. I will buy a camera just for you. If you can show me the word perfect in the Quran, do you dare? I want you to do this, actually. I want you to copy the word in Arabic from the Quran where it says perfect. In Arabic and I will put it in the screen to see if it's there or not you are a coward and you are a liar you see if the word perfect is there then we should not find it disappear in the front translation secondly you donkey it says if you cannot be perfect justice and then the first one saying you if you cannot be justly deal justly so it is perfect justice and so so justice you stupid since when justice can be so so either it is just or it's not your iq what iq you don't have they don't even have the eye my friend you don't have the eye you don't have the q you you, you, have, you are a hole in the narrative yourself because justice cannot be perfect or not perfect, either it is justice or not. And perfect justice is injustice. Stupid.
we use the word justice if it is only perfect if it is not then there's no justice now listen here you will never be fair and just between women so why you want to have too many of them to be unjust do you see the stupidity to make them suffer to harass them to torture them to practice mice laboratory trials on them they are not a human for you you are picking up and choosing translation that's wonderful okay hold on guys I am picking up and choosing translation. That's what he said. What is the translation you accept, Mr. Dutch? In the front of everybody, I challenge you to give me the translation you accept. And I will put it in the screen. Is that fair, people? And look what they are saying. By making such a statement, they are saying to us that we Muslims, we lie when we translate. So they support me when I say Muslims, they lie when they translate. Now in front of everybody, give me the translation, Mr. Dutch. You like? Go ahead, I'm waiting. Ah, we have Mrs. Hafsa. She is a female. She is saying the following. I'm waiting for you, Dutch. Don't think you are out of the hook. Give me the translation you accept. Otherwise, you are a potato. We just made you famous. Either you give us the translation you accept, or, uh, or, don't come here again. Next time, bring your parents with you. So we have Mrs. Hafsa. She is saying the following. Let me show you what Hafsa, she is a Muslim female. She is welcome. Oh, we need to keep the leak here. Okay, so Hafsa, she said the following. Hafsa said, you will not be able completely, to be completely fair to your wives with respect to your affection, even if you try to do so. Do you see how quiet I am now? You just destroyed everything. You just said that in relationship, a man, he cannot love many women. A man, he cannot have the same affection for all of them. A man, he will favor one upon other one. So, when the Quran is speaking about being fair with them, is not talking about being affection, just there, right? So talking about what? Feeding them salad? This is what the woman she married a man for? So she can get a salad dish and hummus? This is what Islam is about? So she is a goat, and here affection is not important, and I cannot be just there with them because I like one more than the other one, and it's what your prophet did, right? He says he favor Aisha like the reed, like a rice over all the other food. So even Muhammad, he described a one of his wives as if she is a dish of food, no respect. But by saying that, Dutch, he said Yusuf Ali. Okay, hold on, I did not see that. Where is Yusuf Ali? Where is Dutch post? You're welcome, Hafsa. Uh, no, I want to copy his uh, his screen where he said Dutch, where is Dutch, where is Dutch? Where is his statement, Dutch? Where, where are you, Dutch? Dutch, okay, Dutch, can you post it again? Because I cannot find you because I want to put you in the screen, you know? 
can you say it again? Refer to love person? Okay, guys. So, chapter 4, verse 129, refer to love a person. The other refer for a money. Where it says money in the other, and where it says love in the other. You see the hypocrisy of this religion? Anyone see in the verse where it's mentioned money? Or it mentioned affection or love? How come they apply one thing to one and they apply the opposite to the other one? Hypocrites. In his, you know, uh, uh, Muhammad Qasim, I'm willing to call you. And the challenge for you is to show me that this is about love and the other one is about money. Does it say anywhere the word money or love? Why you lie? Are you are you adding things to the Quran? So you and Hafsa and Fufu and Susu, you try to look for a solution and now you come to different solution. Okay, here it says about love. The other is not about is about money. But none of them speak about love and none of them about money. None of them. All right, Dutch. Mr. Dutch, he said, Yosef Ali, let us show you. Here we go. Thank you, Mr. Dutch. The next time, please, when I take a selfie for you, smile. Because I don't know, you don't sound like happy. Yosef Ali again. Okay, well, you eat it. I'm showing Yosef Ali, you donkey. You stupid. I am showing Yosef Ali. I mean, this stupid idiot is asking me to show Yusuf Ali, and I am showing Yusuf Ali. You are picking up your translation. I don't accept this translation. But you idiot, this is Yusuf Ali. Potato. I mean, what food they eat? Potato, tomato, garbage religion. Hmm. So, look at the solution. You cannot be justly with them. Okay, hold on. 429 to love and person isn't accountable okay let me ask you uh, mr muhammad qasim you know what i will open skype just for you just for muhammad qasim get ready muhammad i will call you Okay. Uh. All right, my friend, Mr. Muhammad Qasim, let me call you. Yes, Mr. Muhammad, you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Do you want to talk about the Blackstone or no, the we, we have a topic. You forgot. You just posted this. Why do you want to jump over it? So let me ask you. A condition to marry more than one, as I understand from you, that you have to be 
justly with them by money but not by uh, emotion and love correct yeah that's right can you repeat it again yeah yeah that's right yeah no no say it again in order to be just you can be just with this not with that i want to hear it from you yeah so the other verse refers to uh, distribution in money in wealth in property hmm. and this particular verse which was 41 uh, 4129 okay yeah that refers to in love because you can't control it so as the verse says even if it's your ardent desire even if, if, if you want to desire to do so okay you, you're not you're so unable to so. what i understand from you is somebody he cannot be just in 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 the uh, in the in the state of money he can he should not marry than one more than one correct um yeah if he's yeah exactly exactly if he can't yes. do justice okay yeah. muhammad qasim he said and everybody is my witness that if you cannot be just in, in in money and property, you should not marry more than one. Or what if somebody he did? Is that make him a bad person? He is not following Allah. He is not obeying Allah correctly. Why? What, what are you referring to? I don't. Are you scared now? Are you afraid? Of some, I will say something next. I'm just saying to you. No, somebody, I'm curious. I'm curious. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. You are you are the one who just said a Muslim who obey Allah, he should do this. He should not marry. A woman or many women unless he can be just with them with the money and property correct yeah that's right okay so when a Muslim he do something not according to Allah teaching the Quran which means he cannot be just and he is not being just in the property and the money he is being a bad Muslim do you agree um, it depends if it's due to uh, necessity. Let's say if he, he was rich at the start and he could handle the wives. No, and but the Quran says you should not marry them. That's it. Don't marry. The Quran says to you, don't tell me you know, the, the necessity. It says don't marry them if you cannot be just, correct? Did you hear what I said? I said uh, it, it, it depends them, on the fact that it depends on the intention. So if you had the money, if you had the wealth uh -huh. um, and then you got married okay. and then afterwards you became poor. Yeah, now hmm. it's not your fault okay. because so you never intended it. I got something important from you. The intention, correct? So if a man has intention to be unjust to the rest of women or other women, that would make him a bad Muslim, correct? Uh, yeah, in, in regards to property and wealth and stuff. Okay, thank you guys. In, uh, so he said if a man intentionally, he is not being just, he is a very bad, disgusting creature. That is your prophet. Let us read the hadith together and everybody will be laughing at you and everybody will see that Islam not only have holes, even those who have answers for us. This is the hadith saying that the wives of Muhammad, they complain to Muhammad, asking him to be fair and to be just between them and the daughter of Abu Bakr, bin to Abi Quhafa. And they say to him, why you cannot be just with us and with, between us? What was the response for your prophet about him being asked to be just? All the property, all the money, all the gifts goes to Aisha. And Muhammad refused to be just with the women. And you are the one who said, if a man intentionally, he is being unjust, he is a bad, filthy Muslim. And you said, yeah. So, when they came to him and they said to him, we are asking you to treat us equally. Why Muhammad, he refused to treat them equally? Uh, can you send this hadith to Skype? I'll have a look. Okay? All right, here we go. Open your Skype. Chat, it's there. Oh, let me just quickly read it. <clears throat> and as you see, this is Sahih. Yeah, so here. Yeah. Um, so it says... Hmm. They are asking for justice, to treat them equally. Muhammad, he refused to treat them equally. They are not asking for more. They are not asking for less. Muhammad receiving millions of dollars of gifts. 
money. All the money go to the house of Aisha, not to the house of the other wives. And even they send him, Fatima, the daughter of Khadija, the stepdaughter of Muhammad, asking him, because suppose she is close to him, like, can you please, for the sake of the leg of Allah, or the foot of Allah, or the shin of Allah, can, be, can you be justice between us and Aisha? They are not asking for more. Where does it say in terms of wealth? Huh? It's about gifts. Where do, it's, it's about gifts. Where does, it. It's about gifts. Uh, where does it say gifts? It's there in front of you. You don't know how to read. Which part? Huh? So it says, it says the wife of the Prophet sent Fatima, the daughter of the Messenger of Allah, to the Messenger, uh, to the Messenger of Allah. Uh -huh. She asked permission to enter when he was lying with me under my cover. Mm -hmm. um, he gave her permission to enter. She said, "Oh, oh Allah, oh Messenger of Allah, your wives have sent me mm -hmm. to you to ask you to be equitable with regard to the matter of the daughter of Abu Abu uh, Kuhafa, mm -hmm. so Aisha and her." Uh, but see, it doesn't say anything like uh, in terms of what it doesn't say gift, it doesn't say money, it doesn't say nothing like that. Okay, let me ask you, it's about what? Before we continue. What they are can, asking can you for? Show me? No, no, I'm asking you. What do you, you okay, I'm asking you. What do you think about I, I'm on, So I never prepared for this topic, so I'm not, I'm on the This is not the, being this, prepared. I'm asking you now. This is about what? They are complaining about what? It doesn't say, if, if you want to show me why it says it, I don't know. I'm asking you, I will show you, no problem. You see, I don't, all reference in the front of me, all of them is about the same topic. I will show you and you will see it's about money. But I'm asking you, what do you think from what you read, the read? It's about what? Um, it could be about love. About or love? In terms of, yeah, in terms of uh, what, what, affection what, what, or something. What, what do you mean? The Prophet, he don't love the, you know, he sleep more with Aisha? Listen, you need to prove your case instead of going into diversions. I'm asking you. You are the one who mentioned that the Prophet is possible he is not fair in love with them, correct? Yeah, so can you can you show me what this hadith refers to? In fair in what? I just told you and I will I will show you, you know, you are not having patience, I'm asking you. Why? I told you I don't know. I haven't looked into the, the, okay, uh, the you don't commentary. Know, but on why this. but why then you came to the conclusion that this is about love? Are you making things based up? The, based on the Quranic verse? Based on the Quranic, on the Quranic the, verse, the, the Quranic verse, the Quranic, the the Quranic verse never say this is about love. You added things to the Quran; it's not there. Yeah, we have a hadith where it talks about uh, that four okay. one two nine. It refers to love. Yeah, but I'm asking you now: Why you are making it about if it's not? Why you are making this hadith? How you jump to a conclusion? This is about love. So now you are confirming from your side that you're a prophet. He was not justly treating his wife nicely he treat one way more nicer than the others this is what you are saying correct so can can you show me what, what you were trying to prove i am showing you already i'm going just with you with your with your statement your statement is more horrible than the other statement i want to use it let's go let's go I, with your statement I wanna, let's go with your I wanna, statement i want to use it i'm using your statement so i'm asking you now Let's are you, to are you confirming? To are you confirming what you just said that your prophet was not justifying his action with his wives in love, Sorry. and and he agreed with that. He he agreed that he is not being good to them. Yeah, you can. Uh, an individual can love one uh, person more than the other person, and uh, you, you can. There'll be signs from that individual, such as. Um, like uh, in terms of like you, you could be mentioning the Aisha's name more than the other wives so that that's a sign that he loves her more so th these are some signs what they could be complaining about that's what I'm saying it's a possibility so are they there asking for justice or they are just asking for something else they say the word justice right yeah it says justice okay so how the word justice become about love if the Quran says you will never be justice in love anyway because the, the Prophet has mentioned clearly that he used to be uh, just in this regard. No, I'm asking you now. You say that the chapter no, I'm, I'm 4... I'm telling you. Hold on, hold on. You say the chapter 4 verse number 20, uh, 129 says that you will not be justice with women when it's come to love. This is your statement, correct? 
Yeah. Okay. So, as long he cannot, then Muhammad he said to them, say to them, don't you know that the Quran say that I cannot be just in love? He did not say that. So obviously they are so not are they are not fighting. They are not fighting over justice when it's come to love. They are fighting okay, so over something else. I'm asking you now. Why you come to this conclusion when it says clearly we want you to treat us equally? And what is the equal is about? I wanna ask you. Okay, so I wanna ask so you because okay. What okay, so what they are asking for? So we have a hadith where it clearly says that he, the Prophet was just with his wives in terms of distribution. He was, so he due was to that, just, he was just with his wives. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, so why they are saying you are not? So uh, I don't know what that refers to. I have to look into the hadith. No, no. I'm asking you here. It's in front of you. What do you mean looking? You know, I'm saying to you in the front of I you. I look into the commentary. No, no, no. no hold on. Okay. Look now, right we now. Look, look, look right now. Look right now. Okay. So. I'm asking you now in front of everybody. Do you have any proof of your statement you made or you are making things up? Yeah, I'll give you a proof. If you look in um, no, Ibn no, no, Abi no, Sheba. Don't, don't, don't Ibn Sheba, Ibn What's happened? Why are you running? Why are you running? No, no, Nothing. those are not your prophets saying. Don't tell me somebody says that. It's you. It's, you it's are the hadith. same. It's, a hadith. it's not a hadith. It's, a hadith. it's, not, a, it's, not, a, it's not a hadith. I'm going to give okay. you the hadith. Okay. okay, in front of everybody. Can you show me the hadith says that this is the story here is not about money? Focus, focus. I'm gonna give you a hadith, it'll explain to you. No, no, you have so a even... hadith, uh, you have a hadith. Is it connected about this one? Is it about this story? About the wives of Muhammad? It's, it's, it's about it's about the, the it's, it's about the Prophet distributing everything equally. Well that's that's a lie, my friend. I, I have a surprise for you. Here we go. You see, always the purpose. Can you send it on Skype? The purpose, hold Hello. on. Let us see. I'm trying to find the hadith in Eng in English. Hold on. I forgot you speak Arabic. Uh, no, I only know if you woke yeah. up. Oh, okay. Hold on. And I'm waiting for your hadith so we can laugh together. Yeah, we laugh at you. <laughs> we will see. Also, you need to prove when this verse was revealed about two threes and fours. Okay, here, here we go. Here we go. Just, don't waste my time. You are just a kid. You are just a stupid kid. Sorry to say the word. Here we go. Do you see it says that they are asking him, Um Salama, should request Allah Messenger to tell the people to send their gifts to him whenever his wife's is. So why you lie? When they lie. Why you lie? Why you lie? Why you say this is not about gifts? Send, send me the hadith. I'll have a look at it. I can't see your screen. So you never heard this hadith before? Send it, I'll have a look. I'm asking you, you never heard this hadith before? There's, there's, there's thousands of hadith, I haven't heard This is not the question. You never heard this hadith before? No. That's mean you're a donkey. Go ahead. <laughs> you're a donkey? Yeah, because you are correcting me and you are saying everybody will laugh at you because I said it's about gift. So the donkey you think I am donkey when I said it's about gift. So who is the donkey now, you see? Get the point, sister? Brother and sister, I'm going to tell you right now that the Christian prince is the donkey, and you don't know what I'm talking about. This hadith, brother, is not about gift. And I have a very clear and I'm going to tell you a hadith. Let me look for the hadith. All right, and I'm everybody will be and then you don't tell the at you. This is what you said. Here we go. This is about gifts, nothing more. There's no love, there's no passionate, a bunch of Arab women, fighting with their Bedouin prophet, the one who wiped his ass with the three rocks. He got some gift now because he became a prophet, he became rich. And now they are fighting over the jewelries. All the jewelries go to Aisha, the rest of the women get nothing. So you lie to us when you call me. You claim that you have a proof when you said that to me. You call me donkey and everybody will laugh at me soon because you would show the reference. And now here we go, who is the donkey? Admit, be honest. 
No, you're the donkey. Let me right. let me have a read of the yeah, name, right. and then you're a prophet. He married from a woman. Her last name is Donkey. His last name is Dogs. And now you have to admit you lied. Everybody who saw you, everybody heard you, saying this Abdul, is not Abdul, about. Abdul. Everybody Abdul. heard you, potato. Everybody heard you. It's recorded. Abdul, have you have you given all the details uh, to the verse? You haven't. Stupid. So how, Don't how are the topic. you concluding? It's in the front of you. Matter. Is it about gifts or not? And you are uh, the sorry, one. Me... And you are the one who said. If, if you're gonna, if you're gonna on, keep hold talking, on, hold on. You are the one who said if a Muslim he do that intentionally, he is a bad Muslim. He's filthy Muslim. You agreed with me. Everybody heard you. I said to you okay, in, gonna... in the beginning of the question. I said so. If somebody is doing that intentionally, is he a bad Muslim? You said yes. It's recorded. Listen, listen. Listen, listen. Bro. If you're gonna keep talking. Listen, listen, if you're going to keep talking, then how am I going to uh, read the hadith? And, uh, what do you mean? So just, just give me a minute. You. Guys, I want to read the hadith. Give me, okay, go ahead, give me a minute. Okay, read it. Okay, it's okay, a long, okay, long okay, hadith. Read it. Read it. It's got, uh, no, read it here. Read it here. It says, okay. in the matter to God, no problem, decided Ummu um, Salama should request Allah Messenger to tell the, the, the people to send their gifts to him in whenever wife's house he, he was. So what Muhammad is doing, he is asking people to send gifts only when he is in the house of Aisha. So the, the one who will keep the money is Aisha. So, okay, so this is gift, right? Doesn't matter. You said this is a property. This is money. The women are fighting. This is not, not fair. How come the, the gift will not come to our house when the prophet visiting our house? She is his wife too. No, all the gifts. Shut up! Shut up! You are a coward. You are a coward. Why did you say the gift is money? It's a gift. Gift is money. Gift is gift is a money. Gift is gold. Gift is silver. Gift is gift. Prove it. Prove it. Get out of here. Get out of here, son of muta. Coward, muta boy. Prove it. I said to you in the beginning, it's a gift. You said no. Now prove to me that the gift is money. Do you see the coward? I said to him from the beginning, it is a gift. He said, no, this is not about gifts. I did not even mention the word money. You see how we make you famous, potatoes? What that boy? I said gifts. And you said to me where it says gift. I did not say money. And you argue saying this is not about gifts. You did not say the word money, but gift is money. It's a physical thing. Can be clothes, can be jewelries, can be gold, can be silver, can be shoes, can be whatever a human being he needs. This is what people give. Like what I will give you a gift, a tree? Can be a camel, can be a horse. Is it that the Quran says this is what money is? Horse? And gold and silver, idiot. Isn't it the gift of Allah to you is a green garment in the heaven, additional to the wives who they have their legs open? I challenge you where it says gift. Okay, no, where it says gift, nowhere. And what Muhammad did, he says, are you going to hurt me in Aisha? Aisha is my favorite sex toy. You cannot do that to me in Aisha, okay? The women, they are asking clearly to be treat them equally. They don't want more. They don't want less. They don't want Aisha not to get gifts, no. They are saying, can you for the sake of the leg of Allah, the shin of Allah, the bum of Allah, the ass of Allah, can you be as possible as you can as possible can you be justice between us muhammad he claimed oh, hold on you cannot hurt me regarding aisha i never received inspiration into allah except in the clothes of aisha the muslim they claim that muhammad he received quran in the bed of aisha muhammad in the bed of aisha quran come muhammad go to the bed of hafsa quran doesn't come so Muhammad, when he was in the house of Khadija, he did not receive Quran in the bed of Khadija. Only in the house of Aisha, in the bed of Aisha, and the clothes of Aisha. Cowards. I have a dirty mouth. Ah, I should say to you what your prophet said. Your prophet, he said, the one who is proud about his 
inheritance before Islam, go and tell him to bite the penis of his father. I did not say to him, go and bite your penis, your father's penis, you idiot. It's your prophet says that. So if you are a person who is against dirty mouth, I am just speaking about Islam. Islam is dirty, my friend. Is it your pro was your prophet dirty mouth when he said, go and bite the penis of your father? Was he dirty mouth when he says, go and suck the clitoris of Allah? Was he a dirty mouth when he said to you, Allah will give you an endless penis? And try, be careful, I'm using the word penis. Your prophet did not use that. He used the street word. You need dirty, you have a dirty mouth. Allah. So look what happened. A man who claimed to be a prophet of God. And he is the best Muslim. If this is the best Muslim, so who is the worst Muslim? If this is the best Muslim, who is the worst? Brother Sitar, my name is Muhammad Qasim, and I'm going to go to the prince, and I'm going to get him a seat. I'm going to tell you a hadith. The Prophet said, treat your wife equally. Uh, Christian Prince, where you told me that this is gift? Uh, it says, it's about gift. It doesn't say it's about gift. It's about fashion it and affecting it. What? It's about affecting. Uh, how you get this conclusion? Where do you get this from? I can prove it for you. And everybody will laugh at you after giving it. And they will not that you're a yogi. He's like a neck, baby. That's why none of you dare to call me. And the one who killed me, he got humiliated. Humiliated. Is that correct in English? Humiliated. So the prophet was evil, was not a good man. He didn't even treat his own wives equally. He favored one, one of them, obviously she was the Billy Dancer. She is the young, she is the young between them, the youngest, she is a child. Muhammad, he loved babies, you know. He cannot resist the temptation, the pedophile, you know. So he favored Aisha. So Aisha, she's in control. She is in the top of his shoulder. And Muhammad is her donkey. I want all the gifts here. All the gifts in my house. Do you understand me? Muhammad, he says, whatever you say, honey. For the sake of your diaper, I will do it. The wives, they have a strike against him. Literally, they have a strike. And that can be found in the Quran. And Allah, he accused. that the women who have a strike against Muhammad, this is why, this is how bad he was with his wives. Imagine the God of Islam, he had to jump to protect Muhammad bomb from the kick of his wives. Later Muhammad, because they got him busted, even Aisha, she made a strike against him. Hafsa made a strike against him. The Muslim women, wives of Muhammad, they became two parties, Republican and Democrat. And they have a strike against the Prophet. Death to Muhammad, death to Muhammad. And they throw rocks and onion and all tomatoes at his windows. So Muhammad, in order to save his bum from being kicked by the wives, and this is chapter 6, verse number 4, look what Allah he did. <sighs> Hold on, what is the guy who says he liked Yusuf Ali? This is Yusuf Ali. Look, if you two turn in repentance, the, the two, by the way, they are two parties now. They are not just two wives. To him, to Allah, mean, your heart are indeed in, in clean. They became kuffar. But if you back up each other oof, against him, against who Muhammad? Look at this. Truly Allah is his protector. Look at that. Muhammad in the protection from the four or five foot wives against him. I mean, come on, this is not a fair fight. Nine wives, all of them, they are four or five foot. One of them, she is six years old, and now they want to fight the Prophet. The Prophet, he cannot beat them up. So the Prophet, he need help, support coming from the sky, brother. Allah is his protector, and Jibreel, Jibreel, he got involved in the fight. Brother, Jibreel, 
he joined the fight because the fight is big very big Prophet Muhammad peace upon him is fighting women who is going to win to make you understand what happened this is what happened to Muhammad and Muhammad like the karate of his his skills of karate is zero and Muhammad like I need help I can't do it no more somebody do something and the help came from Allah brother so Allah he made a verse saying if you back up each other against him truly Allah is his protector and Jibreel look the fight is getting bigger and every righteous one among those who believe amen here we go al-qaeda isis muslim brotherhood i mean all every every uh, qasim qasim joined the fight against aisha you grab her from her bum hey muhammad qasim grab aisha from her bum from here here maybe halal every righteous believer against the wives allah is not enough no he cannot make it allah i mean come on those women they have sharp nails I mean, have you ever had a fight with women? They will kill you, man. Did you notice that women, they sharp their nails so good? I mean, come on, did you ask yourself why they have those nails? Muhammad, he knew. He have no, he's no match in this fight. All those women are going to attack him immediately. And their nails are so sharp and ready for attack. <laughs> Muhammad, he lost the war already. I understand your situation. It's not easy to fight those women with these nails. I mean, we have to be here realistic. Can we be for a second realistic? Huh? Put yourself in the shoes of Muhammad. Look at that. What is this? Muhammad, he knew what is going to happen. The fight would have started and those snails will be in his bum. From every direction. So he seek refuge by Allah. And Allah is always there to protect him, brother. So Allah, he says, if you go to against the Prophet, I'm going to protect him. And Zabril, hey Zabril, do you agree to protect him too? Sure, Allah, I'm coming. And every single Muslim believer, hey Mimi, do you agree to join the fight? Sure, Allahu Akbar, there's no holy narratives. All the Muslims now, they are joining the fight between a man his name is Mimi, and a wife, her name is Aisha and Hafsa and the rest of the names. And is that enough that Allah, look, look who joined the fight, Allah. That's not enough. Allah cannot do it alone. 
because remember those are women I mean we have to agree so Allah he knew how limited he is in the front of women so he said to himself okay Muhammad I, I will join the fight so Muhammad look at him and says come on you know that we cannot make it with you so Allah said okay hold on and Jibreel Jibreel okay so Muhammad he said are you kidding me are you kidding me or kidding yourself you and Jibreel can do it so me and you and Jibreel Allah we can fight all those women are you a fool so Allah said hold on okay wait every righteous Muslim will join the fight the army is getting so big Muhammad he look at him he says come on that is a stupid still we cannot win Allah he go to the maximum and he said to him okay okay and furthermore all the angels of Allah Muhammad finally he says okay now I feel better thank you Allah because nobody left what is left is shaitan to join and remember shaitan he converted to Islam Is that a hole in the narrative or this is a hole in the story or this is a hole in God? All those to protect a man with his wives? So now if a Muslim he fight with his wife, he will get all the support or the support only come to Prophet Muhammad Khabibi. And this is telling you how dangerous the situation is. Put yourself in the Prophet panty, I mean shoes. God forbid, can you imagine what will happen to you? Uh, Muhammad, what? Uh, Muhammad, uh, I saw someone, his name is Muhammad Baja. I don't know, the text is going so fast, I cannot see it. What command, my friend? Your God, he have no command. Your God, Allah, he says to Muhammad, three time read, still Muhammad cannot read. I mean, what kind of God is God? Jesus, he said to the man, he can't walk, carry your bed and walk. The guy, he carry his bed and walk. Jesus, he did read the mind of the Jews and he said to them, which one is easier? To say to him, your sin is forgiven or to say to him, carry your bed and go. Your God, he's, you know, he squeezed Muhammad first time, second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, tenth time. Thank God he did not continue until now. When there's no mayonnaise was coming out of Muhammad and Allah he gave up because Muhammad he cannot understand. Allah he said to him, read. Muhammad he said to him, I can't read. Allah he squeezed him again, read. Muhammad says, I can't read. I mean, either Allah is stupid or Muhammad is stupid. You tell me, which one? What's the point of this squeezing thing? Is that a squeeze competition? And the funny Muhammad he never said to Allah, leave me alone, stop touching me. I mean, Jibreel, he came to him and he starts squeezing him. And Muhammad did not notice that this is a man touching him. Shouldn't a man say to a man, stay away from me, man. What are you, what are you doing? But look like the prophet used to be squeezed always. That's why he did not get upset from the squeezing. He just complained about how hard it is. Maybe he like it. This video about Shabir Ali, we will continue about it later because there's more, uh, more gifts in there. Very beautiful video. I love it. But the important today that we have Muhammad Qasim calling us to get us busted, supposedly, and always he gets spanked as his God. And he claim and he accept that the one who do intentionally favor women upon other women when it's come to money or property, he's a bad Muslim. And when I say to him, this is about gift, he reject, he said, this is not about gift. He said, where it says that? Now, how many of you did save the reference? Do you guys save the reference? How many of you save that this is about, uh, as example, about gift? Did any? 
It's about gift, right? Let me show you the reference. This is Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 2581. And listen here, this is Sahih al-Bukhari. So they cannot say al-Bukhari is weak. I hang up on him and run away. Yeah. Well, I hang up on him because he is just a kid now. I got what I want, my friend. You see why I hang up? I got what I want. They have no need for me. It's like a, it's the same as the menstruation rag your prophet used to swim with it in the Bi'ru Bida'. There's no need to talk. He's now he's just arguing. So he already he said what he said. The topic is over. Stupid. The recording is there. Millions of people would die laughing. This is not about gift, and I will prove it. So, this is about love, reflection. That's what he said. So the pro, the debate between me and him was, if it's about gift, that will make Muhammad is bad. If it's about love, that will not make him bad. It turned to be about gifts. So why I want to continue talking to a kid? He's the same as a tissue for me. One time use. Unless it's a kitchen, a kitchen tissue, you can use it again. You can wash it like and dry it, you know. And put it like, you know, like make a laundry line of uh, tissues around you. I have a lot of them. Any Muhammadan? So he lied when he said this is about love. He lied when he said this is not about gift. And we got you busted. It is about gift. It is about women fighting over money. <clears throat> uh, anyway, uh, I think we have enough for today. And don't forget that the previous video, you know, uh, which uh, YouTube complain about it. Uh, YouTube agreed that there's not, nothing wrong with it, so we have it back. You can download it, the one it was yesterday. And now we have this one, which was fun. Thank you for Muhammad Qasim. He was a great uh, a great help. To, and he, especially when he's agree that the one who do it intentionally, he is a bad Muslim. The one who do it intentionally, you remember the question? You see, uh, the Muslim they knew, those, those supposedly are careful Muslims when they talk to me because they knew me. So now he's extremely careful about what he say. And still we get him. He was so careful, brother. Extremely careful. Like what you are implying. You see, he's like, he knew that Christian Prince, he will not say something. He's going somewhere. The Muslim debate an article how to debate Christian Prince. In the article they said, if a Christian prince says to you the prophet was a good man, don't say yes, don't say no, because whatever he say, you, you will get you busted. I mean, even the prophet says good man. Never say yes, never say no to Christian prince, because whatever you say, he will get you busted. Never say whatever you say. Even if you say to him the prophet was good, don't say yes. Don't say no. Once in a Muslim chat room, I enter a Muslim, you know, the, when, when the chat room is like it's dead, nobody is even talking. The second I put my foot there, they go crazy. Like they, they start having admins coming from everywhere, from Afghanistan, Tajikistan, Turkestan, Fustistan, Turkmenistan, Turkistan, Fustistan, Turkestan, all the time. Christian Prince, come to the mic, you coward. Come to the mic, and they thought, suppose you know, they're in control because they can't take the mic from me anytime. So I took the microphone and I said, The Prophet was a great man. All oh, the Muslim in the chat says, he, Liar, liar. I said, He was not a child molester. Liar, liar. He did not have sex with the goat. Liar, liar. I mean, I, I'm saying good thing about Muhammad, supposedly, and they call me liar. The admin, he could not take it no more. Like for five minutes, I'm saying Muhammad was not a thief. They say liar. Muhammad wasn't a criminal. Liar. He is not a rapist. Liar. They, they, are, they are not listening. All what they knew that this guy is a Christian prince. Whatever you say, you say to him no. 
So the admin, he gave them a dot to the whole chat room. And he said, you stupid, he got us even in our chat room. He said to you, the prophet was good man. You said to him, liar. He said, he's not a rapist. You said to him, liar. He did not have sex with the goat. You said to him, liar. What's wrong with you? I suppose that he's a smart. But the idiot, he was there too. For five minutes, he didn't notice. He in the chat, he was saying liar too. Don't give him the microphone. He will get you busted. It doesn't matter where you are. This is why all of them, they want to debate me face to face, brother. We want to debate you face to face. And Christian Prince, he hang up on Muslims. <laughs> we hang up after we finish, my friend. Not before. <laughs> anyway, my friends, my brothers, my sisters, may the Lord bless you. And I assure you, there's no better name than the name of Christ. Look how funny, stupid this cult is. I mean, who can laugh at something Jesus said? Who? Bring the whole silly, stupid Quran, yellow pages, and put it next, just one page in the Bible, the speech of Christ in the Mount. You will see how silly the yellow page of Muhammad is, the book of 14. Go and have two, do if with two and threes and fours. And what is the conclusion, brother? Should we have six with two or three or fours or four or more or five or six or seven? So my friends, and by the way, uh, there's, uh, I was asking for people who can help us to translate to Chinese and uh, Korean. Uh, I, I know I have a, I have someone really great person is helping in the Chinese. So I hope soon we will have our Chinese books. Like for sure, one by one, we can't have them already. <clears throat> it's going to take some time. But I hope soon we will have a book in Chinese, maybe Sex and Allah. And I will post it in the internet for free. For free. So more than a billion or a billion and a half, I don't know how many Chinese who speak Chinese there are in this earth, but I'm assuming at least a billion and a half or maybe more, maybe more, I'm not sure. Uh, uh, they will get the truth about the cult of Muhammad for free. And the reason we give it for free, not because I'm rich, trust me, I'm not. Your support is needed, but we give it for free because saving souls and saving billions is more important than making pennies and buying new cars and new stuff. The Lord is our provider and thank you Lord for what we have. I'm grateful. And as long I have enough, I'm, I'm very satisfied with the Lord always supporting me. So we give for free and let the Chinese from the east to the west, read our books. When we publish it, I want every single person who speaks Chinese to share the link all over around the world. It's an incredible treasure to be in Chinese. And maybe this is the first book ever in Chinese to, exp you know, to explore the truth about Islam. And we're still waiting for people who speak Korean and other language like Vietnamese, etc. Already we have our books translated to Indonesian, thanks to those who help. But still there's more languages waiting for us to accomplish. So I want to say thank you for all of you. I want to say thank you to the Lord for those who support us in every way, in every mean, like those who translate, those who download videos, those who add subtitles, and those who make donation. We say thank you, Lord, for all those people who join us today, and even the one who cannot support for some reason. I, we pray to the Lord to support him, and the Lord, he can do miracles, and he can make your life better. We pray that the Lord will keep you healthy, and will keep you having enough. Worth, worth of a man, worth of a woman, is to have enough. It's not about to have too much, because nobody will take with him to the grave more than what is enough to live. The day you die, your house is not yours, your car is not yours, your bank account is empty for somebody else. So 
Always pray to the Lord to provide you what is enough, because what is enough is what is needed. And I am very thankful for the Lord, for He sent me always good people who really provide their help, and they do help us in our mission, in every way, in every means. So thank you, God bless you, and don't forget to download the videos and share them around. They are for free, the same as we give our books. Take care. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we prove it every day. Take care. Bye-bye.